I first got involved with whales and dolphins in 1973 as a filmmaker and a budding environmental journalist, really trying to see whether we could film and photograph and record killer whales off Vancouver Island, west coast of Canada. And uh, we found that, that we could, and a small group of us uh, just happened to be there when the scientists started studying the whales and we joined up together and really were able to start learning amazing things about them and that led to 10 summers with killer whales and from there I, I started getting interested in all whales and dolphins and traveling around and doing research and I wrote this encyclopedia of whales, dolphins and porpoises because I really wanted to bring the reader out the wild with whales and me and to try to focus on some of the really exciting things. This has been the revolution in research the last 30 or 40 years. And I have so many stories, it's really hard to narrow them down. And I've tried to put quite a few of them into the book. One of our interesting stories is about Iceberg, the all-white male killer whale that we found first in 2010 off of uh, Russia with a, a Russian research group that I work with. And we were able to um, photograph him and, and do a short video. And it's really remarkable because you had all these black and white, the usual killer whales traveling along. And all of a sudden this big male, pure white, comes out of the water. And you know, you just wonder how he managed to survive. I mean, the, uh, albinos in other species don't necessarily do very well. And, uh, you know, there he was, and we knew from the tall dorsal fin that he was at least 15 years old. Well, since then, we've seen him again um, uh, several years, uh, well, a couple years ago. So we know that he's still alive. He's with his family of about 10 to 12 fish-eating killer whales and, and is out there kind of like a spirit or a ghost uh, traveling.